Plus say one of the most competitive races in the entire nation unfolded right here in the tri-state. Voters in Hamilton and Warren counties decided to keep Representative Steve Shabbat in the U.S. House. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco examines that win. Democrats thought they could flip this seat in the House and they poured a lot of money into doing that. But Representative Steve Shabbat won this election by a larger margin than he did the previous election. Political analysts say Republican Representative Steve Shabbat pulled off some magic again this year. You know, I've had a lot of tough races over the years, but you don't have to get in the gutter. Like, I, I think the, the Democrat PACs did this time. It wasn't so much Ms. Schroeder as much as it was those other groups. Uh, they were just awful. Representative Shabbat won by a 7.5 point margin, despite being a top target for national Democrats. Political science professor Dr. David Niven says the typical margin in an Ohio congressional district is 20 or 30 points. You know, he has shown himself to be, you know, kind of a, a, a wily survivor. He has a, a Harry Houdini power to work his way out of these political jams, and, and, and he did it again in 2020. Ms. Schroeder also is a tough candidate. His opponent, Democrat Kate Schroeder, did not want to comment today. Last night, she tweeted in part, quote, I am, of course, disappointed that our efforts fell short, but despite our disappointment, it is important to remember that this campaign has never been about me. It has been about our shared values and vision for this community. Her campaign spent more than $3.2 million compared to Shabbat's more than $2.1 million. Dr. Niven says Democrats poured in the cash because they thought they could flip the U.S. House seat this cycle if Hamilton County went blue and outnumbered Republican voters in more rural Warren County. That's a reflection of, of the effort it takes to run a relevant congressional campaign. You need to spend a lot of money. You need to work very hard. Representative Shabbat has held a seat in the House for 24 years. He lost once in 2008. After that, Ohio's legislator changed his district map with new census data. And Dr. Niven says it's widely accepted as an example of gerrymandering in the favor of Republicans. So this was not unusual that Steve Shabbat survived. What was unusual is that he had to work so hard to survive. In two years, Dr. Niven says surviving will be harder because districts will change again. But Representative Shabbat says his work in Congress carries him. I'm determined to continue to represent the people of this district to the best of my ability. Representative Shabbat says when he gets back to work, he wants to get a new COVID stimulus package passed with PPP and stimulus checks similar to the amount they were last time. Reporting in Mount Adams, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.